my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we're the Sorry Girls. And today we're bringing you a bunch of candle themed DIYs. Ooh, this is exciting because we don't really ever do candle DIYs. Some of these are like inspired by DIY ideas that you guys have sent in. Also just like problems, candle problems that we've been having, which maybe you guys have had too, and we're gonna solve those problems. Okay, let's get into the first DIY. Oh, but first you should subscribe. Yes, thank you. All right, this DIY was a direct request. I think they slid into our Insta DMs and we thought it was so cute. I was maybe thinking about saving it for wedding season, mm -hmm, but this mm -hmm. could also be used for wedding season. The two main things you'll need for this DIY is a floral metal ring from the craft store and some sort of candle holder base. We're using one that we picked up from the thrift store. Using a hacksaw, cut the candle holder plus wax collecting dish off of the rest of the candle holder. We also used a chisel and some pliers to speed up this entire process. Our candle holder actually came apart into two pieces, but don't worry, we'll reattach them again later. Alternatively, to avoid this process, you could check out the hardware store and pick up a copper end cap. We found that this fit our candle base, but there isn't anywhere to catch the wax. To stick the base of the candle holder onto the ring, we're using this putty epoxy called Steel Stick. This is great for bonding metal to metal. Mix the putty together until it's a solid color and then stick the candle holder onto the ring. Make sure to wrap the putty around the bottom of the ring for a strong hold. We also reattach the top of our candle holder back to the bottom using that same putty. Let the putty fully harden. We hung the candle holder inside of our spray paint tent to give it a coat of white spray paint primer followed by a coat of gold spray paint. Once that was all dry, we wrapped the top in some gold wire so that we could hang it. Make sure that you don't use rope or anything flammable for this because it gets a little bit hot. A pro tip is to drip wax into the bottom of the candle holder before adding it to your candle to help it stay in place. Honestly, insanely proud with how this turned out. I was like, how? How, how are we gonna make it? But this one did not cost that much at all. And if you already have a candle holder, which I feel like a lot of people do, like go in your mom's basement. <laughs> not cute ones. Yeah, like not cute ones, maybe just like the top. But oh my gosh, I love how cute this was. Imagine her wedding decor. And disclaimer here, treat this like you would any other candle. Don't leave it unattended. Make sure you watch it at all times. It really shouldn't have like any more of a chance like falling over than a regular candle would. But of course, be careful, be safe, yeah. guys. I mean, it's suspended. That's like like if you're out, it's like windy or something. Then your flame would go out. Don't bring this outside. That's true. <laughs> That's true. So our next DIY is something that we thought would be this gorgeous, amazing DIY that would look so expensive and cost almost nothing. It did look expensive and cost not a lot, but it didn't really work. But I'm gonna show you what it is because you guys always ask for our fails. We literally made like a campfire. We test our DIYs. Yes. Sorry girls, not approved. So we wanted a round ceramic bowl for our base, but we couldn't find one just right, so we settled for this large mug. We carefully broke the handle off and then sanded it smooth. We painted the whole thing gold. To make our mega candle, we gathered a ton of different white candles. We cut some of the bottoms for a more organic feel when they were all piled together maybe where we went wrong. Yeah, that's definitely where The first of many times. We then melted some tea lights on the stove at a low temperature, creating enough wax to fill the bottom half inch of the bowl. Place the candlesticks into the bowl and let the melted wax harden to hold them all in place. Some of the candlesticks needed to be trimmed on an angle at the bottom to accommodate for the curve of the bowl. Once that was dry, we thought we had created this beautiful masterpiece candle, and this could have been a really nice centerpiece if we had stopped here. So we lit all of the candles and quickly found that the heat was too hot for the wax and even too hot for our smoke detector. <laughs> open the window, open the window. Our fire alarm works. We then even came back and tried only lighting some of them, like five of them. Yeah, we're like, maybe we'll alternate. Maybe mm. we'll like light these five, they'll burn down, we can light a different five and they'll like burn down. This, we'll save it, but uh, yeah. here's what happened. So update on our DIY candle. We lit only a couple wicks, but then they kind of joined forces with the unlit wicks. We got one solo boy over here going strong, but then this little like campfire in the middle. But I mean, looks cute, kind of. The idea was cute. So although this was a really cool DIY in the beginning, it wasn't practical, it didn't burn right. So maybe don't try this one at home, guys. Major fire hazards. Although we are not quite given up on this idea. We're like, what if the pillars were like bigger. bigger, maybe like if some of them didn't have wicks, because I think part of the problem is that like the wicks, even when you didn't light the other candles, it Which melted the wax fire. and then it like ended up catching on fire. If you guys wanna see us try and fix this and reattempt it, if you have an idea of how it actually would work, let us know below. 
Lastly, we have this hack that we personally needed. I was mm -hmm. like, we can't do a candle video without figuring this out. If you have candles that still have wax left in the bottom or they don't burn properly anymore, this is a hack. We're gonna save those candles in the wax and create more candles. So we have these candles that we actually DIY'd like about a year ago. Mm -hmm. They're like a soy wax, wood wick burning candle, super cute but after a while they didn't burn anymore. Like you would light it and then the oxygen or whatever, it would just like go out. So we took these DIY candles, we're gonna DIY them again. <laughs> we used a spoon to scrape off the top layer of the wax that might have any black smoke mixed into it or any like chunky burnt pieces. And then we placed the candle in a pot of hot water on a stove to melt the wax. We were careful with this. There's definitely a possibility that it'll like crack the glass. We've read different things where you should like leave it in the water to like heat up with the water so that it's not a shock to the glass. We did it where we placed the candle in after the water was already boiling and mm -hmm. it didn't crack. But just know that that is maybe a possibility and something to look out for. Yeah. For our new candle, we're using a wooden wick which makes a nice campfire sound effect as it burns. We'll link these below. Trim the wick to be flush with the top of the candle holder and glue the base to the bottom center of the bowl. Once your old wax from the old candle has completely melted, carefully pour it into your new candle. On top of the candle, we sprinkled in some lavender, which looks beautiful once the candle has hardened. If you have leftover wax from your original candle, let it settle and your old candle should still be usable as all of the wax should be at an even level now. So we basically just turned like two unusable candles that no longer lit and would go out right away mm -hmm. into three usable candles. And I'm super happy about this because we don't like wasting things. They're even like the three wick ones, like there's literally this much wax at the bottom and you can melt this. I feel like this is a tip people know but they don't do it. But they don't do it. And also the wood wick thing is also a cool thing to note. Yeah. You get that fiery like crackle oh, sound. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah. Make your old candle even better. All right, I hope you guys liked today's video. I know we had a fail in there. I feel like I've seen people commenting recently that they're like, your videos are all fails now. And I'm like, no, we're just showing you like what happens because I feel like you'll learn from this mm. because if you thought that that DIY was a genius idea just like we did, I was like, this would be so cute. Like yeah. now you know to don't even try that because you're gonna burn your house down. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we'll see you in our next DIY video thing. Peace. I yeah, send us DMs of stuff you want us to make like in this video. I know we check them. We Ooh. check we check all the various places. Okay. okay. Bye. bye.